What is up guys, Quake here, and today I've got a Battlefield 3 commentary on Sign Crossing playing Conquest, and today I'm going to be talking about the Battlefield 4 release news and Battlefield 3 um, news. So, bearing in mind that none of this information is verified, these are just rumours that are going about, so keep that in mind when you're listening to this commentary. To start off with Battlefield 4, it should be coming out in 2013 near enough the November to September time. A reason for this is is because it's a direct competitor with Call of Duty and the new Call of Duty will either be I think they're making World War 2 or some other horrendous time, I don't know. Either way it's not going to be as good as bad for 3, let's face it. So it'll be coming around, that, around about that time and as usual it'll be comp competing with um, Call of Duty and the reason I'm glad for this is because I really want Battlefield, Battlefield to oversee Call of Duty and more people playing the game. As is a wonderful game and it's brilliant to play on. Um, some news that I have on Battlefield is that they might be implementing stun grenades, flash grenades. If you understand, like a lot, a lot hinders on the decision as because, I, in Mo for instance, in Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. Um, they're not very liked. So the developers are thinking about implementing them to maybe a support class and we don't and the reason for that is because the support class doesn't exactly do a lot in Battlefield 3. It is mostly just a spray and pray kind of class and I think that they want to make it a more useful class and more people using it for the right reasons. So implementing a stun or flash grenade um, into this or even a smoke grenade um, would be very good as it would mean more people would be, would be utilizing the support classes so I've got a little, a little bit of um, of query about the whole um, special grenades because in Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 and basically all of the Call of Duties they're kind of a pain they just get in the way and they just ruin the opportunity of playing I don't really want that to happen with Battlefield 3 as I really enjoy it and the reason I enjoy it is because it's so balanced and you can have a great time with your friends on it but in Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 3 I don't want to spend half the time playing getting stunned or flashed or anything like that so I think maybe implementing a smoke grenade would be a little bit better because as of now you can only use it in M2 O3 grenade launcher and that's a secondary weapon so it's not very useful and you can use that on all classes I think or is it just the assault class I'm not very sure I've never actually used it but if they if they made it that support classes only got to use the special grenades then I think that'd be so much better as for me I'd use that if I was on a squad say and I was um, I was attacking um, it well, it'd be best in rush, I think. And I was I was attacking a a base, so basically I'd be able to use smoke grenades and stuns to help my team. But it wouldn't really work in a defending uh, opposition, as that would just kind of it wouldn't really make sense to use like a smoke grenade or anything in when you're defending. But yeah, that's a little bit of news about Battlefield 4 that they might be taking into account. Um, obviously with Battlefield 4 there will be a, a huge uh, range of weapons. I don't really want them to change the game engine because I feel that the game engine from Battlefield 2 Bad Company and the game engine in Battlefield 3 um, are completely different and definitely Battlefield 3 has won it. And that's obviously because of the change in time as, as, as time goes on the game engines will be a bit better so I'm not, I'm not really too sure what they can do to the Battlefield 3 game engine. But if they done it, if they changed any um, anything about the game engine in Battlefield 3, then hopefully it'd just be for the best. Dice are pretty good at listening to the community. Um, you know, if the community has got a problem with one of the, like, there's a glitch in the game, they'll definitely fix it. If there's some sort of hack in the game, they'll fix it. So overall, Dice are pretty good at listening to community and giving them what they want. So I hope with Battlefield 4 that they don't change a lot like I really enjoy Battlefield 3 the only thing I I kind of dislike is it's 
the servers, especially getting kicked from them for no reason. I've been in tons, and it's been happening for the past week for some reason. I've been in tons of games when there's no rules even. There's there's no rules on the server. It's just it just basically says have fun or something, and I still get kicked even if I'm like winning or something. There was a time actually two days ago when I got some sort of like five man spray with a support weapon, and it, and the the server didn't have any rules in it so keep that in mind and I just got kicked and it doesn't give you any reason it doesn't give you any kind of backstory why you were kicked or anything even if the, even if there wasn't any rules in it and there's been times when I've joined back in a server and it's just banned me completely so if they were able to change it in Battlefield 4 where I don't know how they would um, I don't know how they would implement that but if they were able to make it so you didn't always get kicked for no reason or they just made it Battlefield 3 servers and they weren't like customizable servers they just keep them like normal they just had like a kind of game type and maybe a few rules in them but with no like random admin if you get me so they wouldn't be able to kick you just if you kill them or something i've been in a few games like that and so have my friends there's a video of him actually doing really well in a server and it, and it just says black screen maybe because you got kicked or fuck you or something and he basically got kicked because he was doing really well. So if they were able to change that in Battlefield 4, I'd really appreciate that. So, back onto the news about Battlefield 4. Um, not a lot has really came out about it, only the kind of stun grenades, etc. But obviously the new weapons, and I'd kind of like them to make... Uh, the snipers one shot kill from a certain distance or body part area. I can understand if they if you get shot in the leg with a sniper, you're not going to go down. But if you get shot in the upper chest or maybe stomach area with say a 50 cal, then you're definitely dying. There's no question about that. And I really like to change that in Battlefield 4 because I've seen a lot of times when I've um, shot an enemy, even from close range, it's just injured him and he's down to like 10% health. There, there has been some talk on Battlefield 4 um, that they're going to make most snipers one shot kill but they'd obviously have to change the distance hit points and the body area dis um, hit points so it wouldn't be the same as Battlefield 3 and I'd really like that um, because I do enjoy sniping especially when I'm in a squad with my friends um, we can set up a really defensive position or even attack it's even good for attacking with the spawn beacon so if I was able to have fun with a sniper and not always get hit markers then it'd be really great and, th and a lot of people in the Battlefield 3 community would agree as also and now we're just going to talk about the Battlefield Bad Company news there's not a lot of it coming back but Battlefield Bad Company was definitely my favorite Battlefield and the reason for that is it was much more destructive than Battlefield 3 is and I noticed that as soon as I played one game on Battlefield 3 that there wasn't a lot of destruction compared to Battlefield 3 Bad Comp well Battlefield 2 Bad Company and in Battlefield um, 3 they've said well this is obviously a rumour they've said that it's going to be um, more destructible than Battlefield 3 and there'd obviously be and they said something about new game modes and it's it's very bleak, they didn't give you a lot of information about it, they basically just said new game modes, definitely more destructive than Battlefield 3 and obviously new weapons. They also said something about they're changing squads or something, I don't know exactly what it is but I think they're, they're either going to make them bigger and I, I can't see them making them smaller as there are only 5 as there is a, there's a ma the maximum I've seen in a squad is 5 so if they made it like uh... I don't know, a six man squad or a seven man squad on each team, it'd be really good. But that that also, also means they'd have to change the size of the servers, which I kind of want to see as well. As you, as you know, on PC it's 18v18, and on this it is 12v12. I mean, that's a really good, um, that's a really good an number of players, but I'd kind of like it to be 18v18 and um, to utilize the new maps that are going to definitely be bigger um, as there is new uh, downloadable content coming out just now which is going to be called Vehicle Warfare and I think the, ma the maps have increased about 
twice as big as the biggest map on Battlefield 3. So definitely definitely implementing bigger servers that can hold more people would be a great change to Battlefield because that would only mean it would be more entertaining to play. Because just now in Battlefield 3, 12v12 in small maps is brilliant. I really do enjoy that. But say if I was playing basically a vehicle warfare game, then I kind of like it to be against an extra six players. There'd be more, more air vehicles that I could take down, and more enemies on the ground that I could take down. So hopefully, all of that changes this pers perspective on Battlefield 3. So Battlefield 3 right now is a 12v12 server, as I've said. But if they were able to make maybe even do an update to, to Battlefield 3 that made it even a 15v15 server, that would be really, really great. I'd really enjoy the extra amount of players. Is that is it just make the whole game more entertaining? So that's basically been the news for Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Bad Company 3. If you've liked this commentary, please subscribe. And there's a lot to come on my channel from Battlefield, from Battlefield and all those other games. So yeah, if you like this commentary, please subscribe. Thanks.